Okay, today we're going to show you how to redo your hard drive for Windows XP. I'm going to turn the computer on. I've got the um, uh, Windows XP disk already inside the CD-ROM and it's set up to boot straight to it. You'll hit that screen, press any key to boot. Okay, setup is inspecting here. Let me try to slide this over some. I'm using the flip on the screen. Still got the tower in the way a little bit, I guess. There we go. Okay. Now what this is doing here is just uh, loading all the files that Windows XP needs to run. <clears throat> Sorry if the uh, video is not the greatest. This does take a, uh, um, you know, a little bit of time so there's going to be a few spots where I've got it fast forward yes the screen looks off centered that all clears up after uh, Windows XP gets installed and all the drivers are loaded uh, in fact down at the bottom here you may be able to try to zoom in on it you can see it well you can't really tell but it's just claiming all the files and everything that are actually getting loaded. It takes a minute or two. Oh, now it's starting Windows, it claims. Now it's not actually starting the, the Windows XP, just all the setup BS. Okay, first screen you come to here. Welcome to Setup. This portion of the setup program prepares Microsoft Windows XP to run on your computer. To set up Windows XP now, press enter, which is what you're going to want to do. Okay, now it's examining the disk. Now, now when you get to this screen, it's just their user license agreement. Just hit F8. You want to read through it, be my guest. Okay, now this screen here. It says, uh, if one of the following Windows XP installations is damaged, Setup can try to repair it, but we don't want to do that. We want to continue installing a fresh copy of Windows. So if you look here, the second one right here is to continue installing a fresh copy of Windows without repairing, press Escape. Always pay attention to what the screen is telling you. Okay, now it shows a list of the existing partitions and unpartitioned space on this computer. Use up and down arrow keys to select an item in the list. To set up Windows XP in the selected item, press enter. Okay, now what we want to do here though, is the, the hard drive crashed previously, so we want to start off fresh partition and um, format, which you don't have to, it's just mine. So right here you want to do the bottom one, where it says D. Okay, and this is just telling you that delete a partition only if you sure it contains no such programs, blah, 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 blah. This one right here, to delete the partition, press enter. Okay, now again, it's showing you your hard drive and its space. Okay, that's what all that's telling you. To delete this partition, press L, caution, all data on this partition will be lost. So remember, if you've got anything to recover, you do not want to do this. Okay, but if if you're you're ready to go with a clean install, then just you know you're you're ready for this portion. Okay, go ahead and press L to delete it. Okay, now we're back at this screen, yeah, and this here will now say unpartitioned space. Okay, the top one here is what we want to set up Windows XP on the selected item. Press Enter. Okay, now. This here is telling you the partition must now be formatted. The bottom option that's highlighted is format the partition using the NTFS file system. The top one is, you know, if you want to do it quick. Which if the hard drive is still, you know, pretty much good, you can do it quick. If, but if you're not sure about it, um, doing the longer partition, or, uh, excuse me, format will... Um, you know probably be more recommended however it will take a lot longer okay I'm gonna do quick because I I know the hard drives pretty you know in good condition now you'll watch down here this is your setup is formatting see it jumps to 20 and the next thing you know it'll just shoot across the screen 
hangs up for a little bit, but nothing, you know, too major to worry about. You see, now it's checking drive C. What this is telling you is, oh, it went away too fast. Now here we go. We're actually uh, set up his copy in the files. Now some of this generally can take a little long, so um, uh, in the video don't be surprised uh, once I get it posted if uh, you actually see where it's kind of sped up. Uh, that's just to obviously, you know, keep it under the 10 minutes because it will take longer than 10 minutes from, from start to finish for everything that we are doing. Um, but, you know, if it does go over and, uh, you know, end up taking longer, I can't keep it under 10 minutes, don't worry. We'll make a part two and, and post the link, but it will get pretty boring just sitting here watching it do this as well. So we'll just go ahead and probably uh, once I'm all done, I'll edit it out and, and speed certain parts up where it's doing this thing. Now this one here, you do see that it is running kind of faster. Don't freak out if... Uh, uh, you know, when you get to the point of doing your computer, it going slower, uh, it, it, a lot of it just depends on your system specs, you know, uh, what kind of hard drive, or excuse me, uh, well, yeah, your hard drive and space and its speed, um, the, uh, the processor, the memory and type of memory, this certain computer here happens to be running a, uh, hyper-threading 2.8 gig, uh, uh, Pentium 4 processor. Uh, with a uh, 512 megs of a uh, DDR2, so it, it will run a, a lot faster than some of them, but at the same time, it'll run a lot slower than others. All this stuff you see down here at the bottom is just what's uh, the files that are being copied. Okay, now here it says portion has completed successfully. Restart your computer and press enter. Now it says if there's a floppy disk in drive A to remove it, but that's just a floppy disk. Keep the CD in there, otherwise it'll cause you headaches because it still needs to copy other files from the CD. Then the uh, system will reboot. Okay, now this time do not press the any key to boot from CD, just leave that part alone. And as you will see, it'll kick up uh, with that window screen. It's, it's not that fast, unfortunately. We still got oh, approximately 20 to 30 minutes left of install generally, again, depending on your system. Now this here is your next boot screen. It's Pretty much if um, you, you want to walk away and go make yourself a sandwich type thing, uh, feel free. There's only, I believe, two different spots where they will kick up for information such as, um, uh, you know, your time and date and, and time zone settings. Um, another, if uh, the LAN drivers, you know, for your networking high-speed internet card, um, setting those up too. However, these Dells after we get it installed, it do got to go to Dells.com website and download the drivers for them. Now that black line you see going across that just went by, that's just something feeding between this POS uh, uh, CRT, you know, uh, monitor and the flip camera. I don't know why it picks that up, but it's it's actually not on the screen itself. And over here, in this side, I know you can't make it out and read, but it will claim setup will complete in approximately 34 minutes. This here, it's currently in 